Hello everyone, I am Sada Sirav and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session we are going to learn how to read the data from MySQL by using Python scripting. See guys, if you see my previous video, I discussed about how to connect with the database. Now in this video, I am going to discuss about how to read the data from MySQL database by using Python script. This video shows you how to query data from MySQL database in Python by using MySQL connector Python API such as fetch1, fetchmany and fetch all methods. The query data in the MySQL database from Python you need to do some steps. The first one is connected to the MySQL database you get a MySQL connection object. Next, instantiate the MySQL cursor object from the MySQL connection object. After that, use the cursor to execute the query by calling it execute method. After, use the fetch1 me method or fetch many method or fetch all methods, fetch all method to fetch the data from the result set. Finally, close the cursor as well as the database connection by calling the close method of the corresponding objects. We will show how to use this fetch1 method, fetch many method and fetch all method in more details. Now I am going to discuss query data with fetch1 method. The fetch1 method returns the next row of the query result set. Now I will create an example and I will show you how to do it fetch one method see I'm going to Linux system now I'm going to create one example of this I created one file now I'm going to write one method here def query with fetch1 in this method I am going to write try block in this method I am calling connection object after getting the connection object I am going to create a cursor object here cursor is equal to on dot cursor next cursor dot execute of select star from and check which table is available in the database first now this is my database mysql database show tables now these many tables are available select star from student now so many records are available now i'm going to use a student table student student I am going to close this one. After that, what I am going to do is row 
is equal to cursor dot fetch one. Now the fetch one method returns only the one row while row in is not none the row is not none what i'm going to do is print row after that what i'm doing is again i'm calling row dot fetch one row is equal to row dot sorry cursor dot fetch one C U R S O R cursor dot fetch one. Now this loop is going to until end of the rows. After that, I'm going here E X E except error or error as E. If I'm getting any exception, I'm handling it here. Now I'm going to print that exception. Finally, I'm going to close F I N E L L Y. Finally, what I'm going to do is C U R S O R cursor dot close and uh, con dot close con dot close. Now, simply here I'm calling h1 method here now i'm calling here for example after connection establish checking the connection object simply i'm calling the h1 method coming here coming here now this is called python mysql read data I'm going Python MySQL read data dot py. See here what it is doing. First, it is establishing the connection. After that, it is going to fetching the data from database. Now, if you see, it is fetching the data from database. See, connecting to the MySQL database. After that, what it is doing? It is fetching all the records from the database. If you see, this is the MySQL database. In this MySQL database, these many records are available into MySQL database from the student table. This is the student table I'm getting. I'm running the Python script here. This is a reading all the data from database. If you see, see, I'm running Python 3, Python MySQL read database dot py. After that, immediately it is going to connect to the database. It, it is fetching the data from database. Now, this is the way to read the data from database by using the fetch one method. For example, let's I'm going to explain in detail about the code. The first we are connected to the database by creating a new MySQL connection object. See here, I'm creating a new MySQL connection object. Second, from the MySQL connection object, we instantiate the new MySQL cursor object. See here, I'm getting the MySQL cursor object. Third, we execute a query that selects all the rows from the book table. Now here, I'm executing the query by selecting all the rows from the student table sorry fourth we called fetch one method to fetch the next row in the result set in the while loop block we printed out the content of the row and moves to the next row until the row are fetched finally fifth we are closing the cursor and connection object at here the next one is i'm going to there is the three methods are available fetch one method fetch all method and fetch fetch one method fetch all method and uh, fetch many method 
next i'm going to discuss about uh, fetch all method the fetch all method in this case the number of rows in a table is small you can use the fetch all method to fetch all the rows from the database table if you want to read the all the uh, rows at a time you can use the fetch all method but uh, it's uh, we, we can uh, we can use the fetch all method whenever we are database uh, whenever the rows are less number of rows then only we use the fetch all method otherwise it is going burden on the program and as well as the database now fetch all method in this fetch all method first i am going to create a connection object after that i am opening the cursor object i am i am executing the statement now i am calling the fetch all method at here there is a method is available that is fetch all method from here onwards i am changing the little bit code difference now after getting after executing the fetch all method i will get all the rows at a time i am going to print how many rows are available in this one total rows total rows comma cursor dot row count cursor dot row count it will display the total number of rows the row count is the method which is bounds with the cursor it will dis it will returns the total number of rows now i am doing the for loop rows now i am printing here each and every row here i'm going to take rows i'm printing each and every row see in this scenario what i'm going to do is now similar way i'm reading the database config after that after that i'm reading all those things now i'm creating a cursor object i'm selecting data from the database now i'm fetching all the records at a time see here i'm fetching all the records at a time finally i'm printing the total number of rows from the table now i am using the for loop to iterating one by one row i will learn and show you the output how it is it is also same like previous example only but here i'm using the fetch all method now see i am running this example again it will be display all the rows at a time but the difference is the fetch one method returns one record but fetch all method it returns all the records at a time now the logic is similar to the example with the fetch one method except for the fetch all method call part because we fetch all the rows from the student table into a memory we can get the total rows returned by the by using the row count property of the cursor object query data with fetch many now next i am going to explain about query data with fetch many for the relatively big tables it takes times to fetch all the rows and return the result set in addition fetch all method needs to allocate the enough memory to store the entire result set in a memory this is inefficient and not good practice mysql connector python provides us with a fetch many method that returns the next number of rows and number of rows of the result set which allows us to balance between the time and the memory space let's take how to how we do the fetch many method i will show you how to do the fetch many method if you see fetch one method returns the only one record fetch all method it returns all the records at a time but coming to the fetch many method we are going to tell 
I need these many records. The now the cursor is going to give you those many records. Now we are processing that records again. We are fetching result from uh, getting from the database. Now this this leads to this uh, this is balancing our time while getting the records from the database. Now I will show you one example on this fetch many records. Here I'm I'm reading the database configuration. After that, data, after that, what I'm I'm opening the connection. Now I'm calling the connection cursor connection object. Cursor object. After that, I'm executing the query at here. Now. After executing the query, I am calling row in the I am going to create a one more simple method that is called I am going to create one more method that is diff it here iterator row now I am giving the cursor object and uh, size is equal to 10. I am going to give by default size. Now in this I am writing the sum code while true. What I am going to do is rows is equal to cursor dot fetch many of size now I'm going to check if not if not rows uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing break break at here if rows are available what I'm going to do is I'm iterating for row in rows what I'm going to use yield row now simply I'm calling I'm iterating here and coming here I am fetching the records from the I, I am not fetching all the records at a time here I am fetching the records from a batch wise like batch wise for what I am doing is row in I am calling the method I am passing cursor object comma 10 rows I need after that I am doing print row I am printing the row finally after completion of this one I am printing separation of the line for the clarity see I am going to run this example how it going to works here what I am doing is I am giving a batch wise. I am reading 5-5 five, five records at a time. Here I am getting the cursor object. After getting the cursor object, I am reading 5-5 five, five records at a time. If you see here, I am passing the 5. If the cursor is true, I am, I am passing fetch many method. This fetch many method, it returns how much size you are given. It read that many records only. Now, I will learn and show you. see here now this will be executed it runs only 5 5 records the total records are 26 it is going to read 5 5 records at a time for example I will put this one it there it will be give you a clear picture home 
now I will running again if you see here it will records 5 by 5 records now I'm do I'm calling this method query method right here in my main that's why it is not showing I'm going to put this is in common now I'm trying to run this one again see this is record reading 5 5 5 by 5 records at a time it is reading 5 records this is the way to read the data from the database see here there is a three methods are available fetch one method fetch many method and fetch all method fetch one method reads only one record at a time fetch many method reads a bunch of records at a time batch of records at a time fetch all method reads all the records at a time now in this video we have shown you different techniques to query the data from a mysql database in python it is important to understand each technique by balancing between the time to retrieve the data and memory needed for storing the result set thank you guys thank you for watching this video thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget to subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.